Wagwan people. Alright, so I just got done watching The Punisher, Marvel, Netflix, The Punisher. I feel like I come on here and you know, talk a little bit about this show. And you know, let me say this first of all, it is a great show. I really enjoyed watching it from beginning to end. I thought it was fantastic. I think overall, when it comes down to it, if you're interested in seeing it, definitely go see it. If you're not interested in seeing it, I think it's worth at least giving a shot. I think you might be surprised because it's very different to the other Netflix Marvel series and very, very different to the MCU as well. When they introduce The Punisher in Daredevil season two you know he was always a dark character you know the, from his history and what happened to him he's always going to be a dark character and what they did with daredevil season two was fantastic that to this day is one of my favorite uh, series well probably my favorite series still actually that whole interaction between daredevil and the punisher was just fantastic i loved it but daredevil though you know has its dark parts you know you know can get quite deep compared to punisher punisher is like a next level down deep you know what i mean it goes a bit dark with a punisher more than a bit dark actually and but what i liked about it and though it wasn't what i was expecting i was expecting it to be maybe a little bit more in tone with daredevil and you know fitting in with the rest of the uh, uh netflix uh, uh tv universe that's what i was expecting it wasn't that at all it was it wasn't as action-packed as i thought it was going to be um wasn't as many explosions as i thought it was going to be um it was very much more drama based and character based so even though it was uh very different to what i was expecting I have to say it worked, you know, from once once I got through it, I have to say the story works, the the characters worked, how they played it out worked, everything about it just worked. And I think it had they gone more of an action-packed route and maybe had the tone a bit more in line with the Netflix, now that I think about it, it probably wouldn't have worked as well. You know, I, would, I think it still would have been a good show, but I don't think it would have worked as well as what they did here. So I'm glad they went with this route um, because it suits the character a lot more, suits everything about it a lot more. It's uh, very, very dark. And it gets very, very violent. So there's not as much action and explosions as I thought it was going to be. But there is still action and explosions and violence. And it gets very, very, very violent. If you are squeamish, this is one to avoid. Or maybe one to watch, actually. So they do say it's a good idea to uh, uh, confront what, <laughs> what scares you. Uh, but it's very, very violent. If you appreciate good violence, then... Oh, I finally got this jump. Okay. Um, if you appreciate good violence, then yeah, this is the one. This is a good show to have. It, it it does not pull punches when it comes to the violence. It goes all in and it is beautiful. It is glorious. But one of the things I was thinking is that there is talk of a Blade reboot. And if that happens, I think this is the way to go about it. Have it so that you understand it's connected to the other movies. Like what they do with, with this, they do mention the events of Daredevil Season 2. And Karen Page does uh, appear in it as well. Um, so you understand that it's connected. But ultimately, it is very much its own thing. You know, apart from that, it exists on its own. It, it doesn't feel like it needs to be a part of... Um, more of these pulley things, but the hell, man. It doesn't feel like it needs to be part of uh, the whole thing. Um... That being said, of course, it is a part of it, and they're, they're not trying to pretend it otherwise, but it does exist on its own. It doesn't try to be... It, it try, it's, it's not trying to, too much to be connecting Daredevil to Luke Cage and events of the event, uh, Defenders and Jessica Jones and My Iron Fist and everything else. It's not necessarily trying too much to connect everything. Just It just mentions that, yeah, this happened. Karen Page shows up, like, cool, it's all part of it, but, yeah... It's, it's its own thing and that works it, it works that when i think if they, if they ever do a blade reboot that's how to do it that's how i think they should do it just have it so that you understand it's connected but very much his own thing because characters like blade and the punisher they're, they're quite different to the other marvel characters and not that other marvel characters can't get violent of course they can um they can get very violent actually but with blade and the punisher they very much live in the violence you know that's their just their whole thing um, is violence and gore and blood and everything. So um, I think when you have a show that tones it down, um, it doesn't do the, it doesn't do it justice. So um, let's see what's going on here. I swear the controls in this game are just so screwed up, man. I mean, not not to complete like it works for the most part, but certain parts of the game is just like it, it feels like you're trying to control a bloody tank sometimes. Like, what the hell? You know, that's that's my quick review of Assassin's Creed Origins, by the way feels like you're trying to control a tank at time at times um but anyway anyway back to the punisher i'll do a review of uh, assassin creed some other time um but back to the punisher so um but yeah it's a very serious very uh drama and i think um oh jeez can you not do that all right you know i should have left that thing 
on the thing. I don't know. Assassin's Creed Origins Parkour. Move like a tank. So yeah, what else do I say about the Punisher? That it does start off quite slow. Um, the first few episodes do feel a bit slow, and it does feel like it's repeating itself quite a bit. It's like I get it, you know, his family died. You know what I mean? Um, it, so it does feel quite slow. It does feel quite like it's like it's not really moving along. And so it does, it does feel like it takes a bit to get started. That being said. Once you do, I think once you get past the first, and especially um, as I was expected to be more action packed, um, the first few episodes did feel like they were they were dragging a little bit. Um, but once you once you get past that, once you get past the first few episodes, oh seriously, really, Assassin's Creed is is this is this is this your parkour? Just, jeez, oh, man, I don't know if you can see this. It's a bit dark, but I'm trying to talk about Punisher and getting all these glitches in this damn game and the con tank controls. All right. Anyway, so um, yeah. Once you get past the first few episodes, it it does it. Everything about it, like I say, it suits the show. It works very well, and it it flows very nicely. You know, it doesn't. There's a few episodes where I feel like they 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 did feel a bit like they're just filling up space. Um, just a little bit, just a little bit. But overall, it does flow very nicely. You know, and it the whole all the characters are uh, are fitting very well. None of them feel like they're they're just like put there just to take up space um i would say that i'm not overly familiar with the punisher from the comics so i can't say which characters are there from the comics and which they just made up for the show or how they act or whatever and things like that that being said from just the show itself it works it all i felt the characters works i felt the characters uh, suited what they were doing and none of them felt you know out of place or or you know didn't belong there or anything like that they all it all fit in there was um a, a bit of a side story which kind of ended a bit too early for my liking i, I won't say too much about it because i don't give any spoilers here but one of the uh, side stories i felt could have could have had a few more legs to it and it would have been nice if they maybe if, if they're going to stretch anything out, I felt I should have stretched that, that one out. Um, or at least maybe leave it alone for a little while and come back to it as, as part of the conclusion. Because I think had they had that went to the end, or at least towards uh, nearer to the end, it could have been a, a more interesting conclusion. But, oh well, it, it is what it is. And it, in the end of the day, it, it didn't hurt the show. It's just uh, personal preference. I would have liked to see that uh, extended a bit more because it seems to be quite interesting what they were doing with uh, one of the uh, side characters. Um, but anyway, by the time... Uh, by the time you do get to the uh, end of it, oh, get down, man. Uh, by the time you do get to the end of it, okay, I okay, can okay, carry these now. Cool. Um, it, it's it just it just was good payoff, you know. The final ser the final scenes, um, the final episodes, they worked really well. They were just great. They're fantastic. Um, the conclusion, um, how it all comes together. I won't I won't say it all here because you know. Uh, might be uh, a <laughs> oh, this character. Oh, this controls my damn. Um, it, it might be giving away a bit too much, but how it comes together, especially if you have seen uh, Daredevil season two. Not that you need to see Daredevil season two, by the way, but if you have seen Daredevil, Daredevil season two, um, the last few episodes, the last yeah, last few episodes, and I say the last few uh, um, scenes of it, it does work. Uh, it does come together very nicely. But regardless of whether you've seen it or not. It's a great show, definitely worth watching. And I think if, if you haven't seen it, or if you have, if you're not really into the whole thing, it's still worth checking out anyway, just because it is very different. I think that if you've avoided, say, Daredevil or, or Iron Fist or you know uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, because you don't really like those kind of shows, maybe they're, they're a bit too jovial or whatever you thought they were. Um, not that they are jovial, they're they're really not. <laughs> but whatever you thought they were, um, this is very different uh, to that. And um, I think if you didn't like those, or if you didn't bother with those, you still might appreciate the Punisher because it is very, very different. Very different. I say it gets very violent, and the violence is beautiful. I loved it. I, I, it was a good, good payoff for the for the slowness of the beginning to where the violence pays off. The way, where the violence, the action comes in, it was a good payoff. So yeah. Good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Um, but yeah, definitely worth watching. Definitely worth checking out. Definitely, in my opinion, um, a, a must see. Um, yeah, yeah. I'd say it's, it's, I'd say it's a must see for people who like action movies or action uh, uh, shows. Um, even though the action isn't all there right from the beginning, if you like action, it's, it's well worth watching. Um, definitely a must see if you're into the whole Marvel, Netflix, uh, or MCU, and a should see for people who aren't necessarily into that whole thing but i think it's definitely worth watching and definitely worth giving at least giving a chance but anyway 
that's what I think of The Punisher. Um, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Do you agree, disagree, uh, something else? I think that's what I'm looking for, actually. Uh, do you agree, disagree, or something? Oh, can you can stand it in the... Jeez. There you go. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something completely different, I guess. Anyway, uh, do you agree? <laughs> let, me, let me try and get on with this damn video. Uh, do you agree, disagree, or something else? Let me know. Uh, do you, uh, other, other thoughts on it? Let me know. Uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a like and share it amongst your friends. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike and share it with your enemies. Um, you can check out more gaming slash vlog slash review videos along the top. You can check out my comedy channel in the bottom right. And you can follow me around various places on the bottom left. Um, actually, no, one more thing before I end this uh, video, actually, real quick. One more thing. Um, just It's not, not a criticism, just something that I noticed. The Punisher's voice, I think this is what I'm looking for, actually. The Punisher's voice, he did sound like a cross between... Arnold Schwarzenegger from the 80s, Sylvester Stallone from the 80s, and uh, Batman from uh, the uh, Christopher Nolan uh, Batman series. It did like a cross between those three characters. Very much. That's pretty much. That's that's pretty much what he said for the whole ser uh, for the whole series. Like his his entire dialogue was. Um, but you know it was it was good. If you put subtitles on, you'd be fine. <laughs> Um, but no, it was it wasn't that bad. You can, you can't understand what he's saying, but he was very much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good show. Anyway, anyway. Um, but yeah, if you um if you like the video, give it a like. If you don't like it, give it a dislike. Um, check out more gaming slash vlog slash review videos on the top. Comedy channel in the bottom right. Uh, follow me around various places in the bottom left. And until thank you for watching. And until whenever, if ever. <laughs> Peace out, girl. I don't even sound like peace out, y'all.